Ever wondered how Beam keeps the money flowing without you paying a dime? We all know the struggle. You're out with friends, splitting the bill, and someone inevitably pulls out the old, I forgot my wallet routine. Frustrating, right? Thankfully, apps like Beam save the day, letting you send and receive cash instantly. But with no fees, you might be wondering, how exactly does Beam make money? Buckle up, because we're diving into the not-so-secret world of financial app monetization. First, let's dispel a myth. Beam doesn't charge users directly for transactions. That keeps things smooth and avoids the awkwardness of a 50 cent transfer fee on your morning coffee. So, where's the hidden revenue stream? The answer lies in a concept called the freemium model. Think of it like a gym membership. You get basic access for free, but for premium features like fancy equipment or a smoothie bar, you gotta pay extra. Beam operates similarly. Core functionalities like sending money to friends are free to use. But there's a whole world of potential features Beam could introduce in the future, features that might come with a price tag. Here's where things get interesting. We can speculate on what these premium features might be. Imagine bill payments directly through Beam, complete with auto-pay and budgeting tools. Businesses could offer exclusive discounts or loyalty programs accessible only through the app. Maybe even micro-investing options, allowing you to turn your spare change into something bigger. All these features add value and convenience, potentially justifying a subscription or transaction fee. But wait, there's more. Beam, being a joint venture between major Australian banks, has another potential revenue stream, data. Every transaction you make, every purchase you split, becomes a data point. Now, Beam likely adheres to strict privacy regulations, but anonymized data on spending habits can be incredibly valuable. Imagine banks using this data to offer you targeted financial products or retailers sending personalized discount notifications based on your Beam purchases. It's a win-win. Beam gets a revenue stream and you potentially get better deals. Of course, this is all speculation on potential future features, but it highlights the ingenuity behind freemium models. By providing a valuable core service for free, Beam attracts users and builds a loyal customer base. Then, down the line, they can introduce features that cater to specific needs, generating revenue without alienating their user base. Here's the thing, even without these premium features, Beam might already be indirectly generating revenue for its parent companies, the banks. Imagine a scenario where you use Beam to pay a friend back for concert tickets they bought with their credit card. Beam facilitates the instant transfer, but the bank still earns interest on that credit card purchase. It's a subtle way for banks to potentially benefit from the Beam ecosystem. Now, this isn't to say Beam is just a sneaky ploy by the banks. It's a genuine service that fills a gap in the market. But understanding the potential revenue models behind such apps empowers you as a user. You can make informed decisions about how you use the app and what data you share. Ultimately, Beam's success hinges on its ability to offer valuable features and a seamless user experience. As long as they keep user needs at the forefront, this free and convenient money transfer service can thrive, potentially evolving into a more comprehensive financial platform in the future. With that said, thanks for watching and until next time.